So this is according to BrownsNation.com. Three worst moves the Browns made during the 2021 season. Uh, number one, playing Baker Mayfield all season. Number two, not trading Odell. And number three, punting late in the Raiders game. Uh, number three, I got nothing. Um, it's clear now that Baker Mayfield should not have been playing all season. Uh, repaired it. Tweet. Let everyone know Sergio went well and successful. Uh, when you look at that, I mean, hindsight's always twenty twenty. Um, I probably would have let him play a couple of games, and then a couple of games into it, I would have been like, this just doesn't look right. And I say that, and he played really well against Cincinnati. So I understand the, um, you know, the thing, the, the argument that they checked with the medical people, they cleared him. Baker said he could play. I get that. But at some point, it just wasn't working. Exactly. And I mean, it, it got, it, you could tell after the Arizona game, it got even worse. The first time around, you know, when that shoulder was injured against Houston, I mean, he had a couple of decent games. He, had, he was, it was all right. I mean, the game against the Chargers, he was pretty good in that game. He gave them a chance to win despite, you know, all the problems the defense had in that game, that crucial fourth down drop with Odell, all those things. He still gave him a chance to win. But yeah, after after that point, I think, you know, as much as your quarterback wants to go out there and say, yeah, I want to play, I can play, of course he's going to say that. We know how competitive and tough Baker is. He's going to always say that. But at some point, you do kind of have to listen to what your eyes are telling you. And your eye, the eyes were saying, you know, that Baker just wasn't able to play the at the level that he was going to, that he needed to play at. I mean, it's one thing to be able to play, but to play at a high level, he really couldn't do that consistently because – even just his throwing mechanics alone with that shoulder harness pinning his left arm into his body, it was never going to be consistent mechanically. So that's why he had the good moments, and that's why he had plenty of the really bad moments. So it comes down to the coaches having to needing to see that and to tell Baker, no, you're not playing. We're shutting you down. Because they still have you still got the extra year of his contract. You still have a chance to franchise him after year six. They didn't have to make a decision on him and in hindsight, you're not going to learn anything about a quarterback, you know, and his ceiling when he, he's significantly limited before he even takes a snap out there because of the shoulder harness. Yeah, I would, um, I would agree. Um, but again, hindsight, 2020. Um, the other one, not trading Odell, and when that came out that he requested multiple times, boy, the last thing in the world that you want when you're a team that has high expectations is to have something that could potentially fracture um, in that locker room. And it kind of blew up trade deadline where they ended up having to cut them. Um, and again, let's be clear. The Browns were not going to get fair value for Odell Beckham Jr. It's not like anybody was going to give them anything more than a fifth, six, seven. Heck, that might've been a stretch, a fifth, six, seventh round pick with him being banged up the way he was, might have been a stretch. No question about it. I mean, the way Odell was playing in Cleveland is certainly not the level he's playing in Los Angeles. And again, I think that's due a lot to the attention, you know, that Cooper Cup kind of takes away from him in that passing game. And I mean, given the cap hit that Odell had given, you know, all the stuff with his contract, just the fact that he wasn't playing well coming off the torn ACL, the Browns just weren't going to get anything for him. And I think it made a lot of sense to just hang on to him because, I mean, if you're trading guy just for the sake of making a trade, you're probably going to make a bad deal. And that would have been a bad deal to really essentially trade Odell away virtually for nothing. And then if he goes off and, you know, say you end up trading him to an AFC team like the Raiders or whatever, and he goes and lights it up there and the Browns played, if the Browns had played the Raiders with Odell and Odell played a big role in that, then that would have been that would have looked really bad for the Browns, especially if they only got a fifth or sixth round pick. And they, who knows, they might still have had to take a cap hit just to make that deal. So just not a lot would have made sense to trade him. There's just kind of a, at some point you just got, they just kind of had to cut their losses. And you know, it is understandable why they kind of just had to cut him because even if you were going to trade him, what were you going to get that was honestly going to match the value? or even scratch the surface surface of the value that you gave up for him three years ago if you're the Browns.